Yeah, everybody join me in the kitchen. I thought it would be fun to kick off fall by making spaghetti squash for our meal prep Monday recipe. It's so easy. This is literally the only ingredient we're going to work with. So you might have passed spaghetti squash in the store and thought, you know, I saw someone post about it. It looks neat, but I really don't know what to do with it. So I'm going to show you right now and give you lots of ideas this week. So get a spaghetti squash that's about two to three pounds is a great way to start. Then the hardest part of this whole thing is cutting it open. Some people put it in the microwave to soften it. I just cut through it with the knife. I don't want to bore you with that. It's not hard once you just get into it. What you're going to do is either use olive oil or a little cooking spray. Spray it. I don't even take the seeds out yet. You've noticed I haven't touched those. But as you can see, you can't even really see the beautiful strands yet. That's the magic of spaghetti squash. Then I like to season it with a little sea salt or kosher salt. And then, you know my favorite thing, good old parchment paper. We're just going to take a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, put our oven to 400 degrees, set those two little squash halves, cut side down. I like to give them another spray or another brush with olive oil. Put those in the oven. Now, you're going to roast them for about 40 minutes, depending on their size. Here's what you've got. Once they're done, look at that. It's deliciousness right there. So here's what you're going to do. It's so much easier to scoop those seeds out after that. So I'm just going to leave them here on the cutting board. I've got both of them right here. So this was about 40 to 50 minutes. The bigger the squash is, the longer it's going to have to cook. But you want some good caramelization. So that's flavor right there. And here's what we do. We take a fork, and which I don't have right now, so I'm just going to pull, pull it with this, with the tongs. See the strands? That's why it's called spaghetti squash. In fact, you can use a spoon and just get the rest out. Now, because this is Meal Prep Monday, what we're going to do is save this for another recipe we're going to make Wednesday together. We're going to make spaghetti squash lasagna. Look at all that. If I was going to eat it right now, you know what I'd do? I would just add a little lemon zest and some Parmesan, maybe some olive oil, garlic. It is delicious stuff. It makes a ton. But you could fill this as a little boat and make your own um, delicious lasagna. The cool thing about using spaghetti squash, a lot of people use it as a low carb swap for pasta. Pasta is about 200 calories, lots of carbs in that. Spaghetti squash is 40 calories and hardly any carbs. It's a lot of water, it's a lot of fiber, it's a lot of nutrients, and it tastes amazing. I don't necessarily think of it as a swap for pasta, but just as its own delicious stuff by itself. So that's how you make it if you're just gonna make it for a meal prep Monday. But I'm gonna show you more ways to use it this week, and I really think you're gonna like it. It's delicious stuff, especially if you follow that recipe get some good caramelization on it, and then you can flavor it any way you want. Kind of think of it as a canvas for whatever flavors you want to use. Phil, pretty easy, huh? Yeah, I, and, and I'm a big fan of that stuff. Are I really, you really? Am. Uh, here's the thing, though. I always have a problem with keeping it crisp. Is there a way to make it crisp? You like it? Okay, so if you wanted it to be crisp, yeah. at this point, I'd throw it back on that baking sheet, put it back in the oven, and bake it twice. <laughs> So rebake it after baking it the first time. Yeah, if you if you want it crispy, I uh -huh. haven't really heard anybody that liked it like that. Well, but this this is a, I like a challenge. Okay. And so I'm going to take you up on that challenge, and I'll try to make your butternut squash extra crispy next time. Awesome. Okay, so. All right. Sounds good, Anessa. Spaghetti see you squash, soon. not Thank butternut. You. You're welcome.